The use of cluster munitions across the world has caused unacceptable harm at the time of conflict and for months, years and decades afterwards. It is for this reason that nations have come together to sign a treaty to ban the weapon for all time. But if the treaty is to make a real difference, it must help individuals and communities in the most heavily affected country on earth. Since we are victims, so we have uh, a lot to gain by, by, you know, by participating, participating in the convention. We didn't produce it or receive cluster munitions. Between 1964 and 1973, more than 260 million explosive bomblets rained down on Laos. In 1968, a United Nations advisor wrote that the intensity of the bombings was such that no organized life was possible in the villages. <laughs> Hidden within the beauty of the landscape, the legacy of that bombing continues to this day. Access to usable land is very limited due to presence of the bombing. People are forced to take risks and farm contributed land to feed their family. Yoksola's main focus is to provide clear land in support of poverty alleviation and agriculture extension. Since the end of the conflict, more than 22,000 people have been killed or injured. The development of education, tourism, hydropower, mining and sustainable use of forests, all these important uh, government priorities and development priorities are held back because of the challenges of cluster munitions. Poverty forces people to take terrible risks. Hunting for scrap metal is one of the only options for impoverished families to gain access to cash to pay for food and medicine. It is an activity that involves the whole family, even children. Lots of people in remote areas just aren't aware that there is a local service here, and so outreach is desperately needed so that people are aware of prosthesis, rehabilitation and other medical services which are here available for them. 36 years ago, this man lost his leg due to standing on a cluster munition. For the, all that time, he's made his own um, legs and finally, last year, he traded one in for a proper prosthesis that you see here made by local staff. The irony of this leg is that the, the metal that's here to reinforce it is part of a cluster munition case. Tumni lost his left hand in 1996 while digging for bamboo shoots. He now works as a volunteer at a rehabilitation centre. Kambai works for UXO Lao, the National Clearance Agency. Established in 1996, UXO Lao responds to villagers' requests for assistance. They locate and destroy cluster munitions and clear land for farming and development projects. UXO Lao has destroyed more than 400,000 bomblets. <laughs> Children are particularly vulnerable to the risk of cluster munitions. Children account for 50% of all recent casualties. Mourn C is a community awareness teacher for UXO Lao. Throughout the year, her team moves from village to village. Their message is always the same. No cluster munitions are safe. The number of people in Laos being killed or injured is decreasing. 16,000 hectares of contaminated land has been cleared Huge progress is being made, but more assistance is required. The imperative now is to see the full implementation of the obligations of the treaty. We invite and encourage all governments 
to sign this treaty to ensure that no country and no other people will suffer as the LAPDR continues to. Determined. Put an end. For all time. To the suffering. Caused by. 